in Dorva, in Cambodia, and Laos. That's one of the reasons why they went over there in Vietnam, is because they wanted to blow up. Why did they blow up all the black Buddhists, the Negro American Buddhists in Afghanistan, all five of them? Why are they hiding Cambodia and Laos down there where the people still worship you? Or should worship what you should be if you understand who you were. And now it's coming to knowing of who you are. Everybody awaits your awakening. Except you. Hmm. Here, that's not the truth. But you know three people that are because they were in church today. So consequently, let's just not talk about what we should do. Let's talk about what we didn't do and start to do it. Let's begin to understand and unfurl all of this confusion. Because if you don't, the planet is going to leave you behind because your vibrations will be false because your pineal gland will not function correctly because you're taking the drugs and teaching and thinking on the wrong octave and you will die. In summation, in my last 10 minutes, we now have two suns. We are a binary star sun system. Why don't the astrologers, astronomers, meteorologists, and this other form of creature that is out there tell you about that. The astrologer won't, because they don't know, and they have to now rewrite some of their astrology. They need to do that anyway. That book out called Twelve Challenges to Astrology. The astronomer won't, because the astronomer now has got to revise all of their things. That's why they give you and take Pluto, but they don't tell you about the twelve planets you have, even with Pluto trying to make room for it, talking about Nibiru coming again, or Nibiru, or Nibiru, recruiting their pronunciation. They're, what can I say, the archaeologists, well not the archaeologists, it's just other they got the meteorologists, they got um, astronomers, there's another form of this creature called scientists to do it. None of them are going to tell you about a binary star system. As I've told many of you, so much so that the brother the other day when I came back said, man, you know Blair, you, you can prove that two signs, you just look to a, 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 what do you call it, the uh, cell phone, and you take a picture of it, and you can see it. And I smiled, I said, do you know who told people that? I said, I did. Oh, man, I didn't know that was from you. I thought, and then he began to name another brother who's well-known, and another brother who's well-known. I said, you ask him who told them. Again, it is not that I am great, it's not that I have a big ego. I am a student of metaphysics for 50 years. Some of them weren't even born when I was studying. And I have not lost any ounce of intelligence. I still think, and I still have a brain, and I still try. So I'm still researching. Plus, as you know, I'm a contactee. That came out uh, in, here in New York way back in 1992. So if anybody should know having talked to some of the brothers, it should be me. I didn't lord over it. I didn't run on it again. But they led me into a lot of knowledge. They led me into metaphysics. So consequently, I know what I'm talking about. But there is no truth to you to say if what I'm saying is true. And that can only come from your wisdom, your introspection, and your conception, a conception of what is or is not. The second sun is magnetic in intensity. It is highly magnetic. It now is merging with your own sun, or what we call the first sun that we have. When those two suns come together, they will knock out everything electrical, so start preparing for brownouts and blackouts. They're inevitable. And when it really gets so bad that nothing electrical will work, and you can't get refrigeration in the summertime, or get heat in the wintertime, you better be to some place that you've decided, or somebody better come and call you by that consciousness you know and take you somewhere to help you off this planet, in this planet, or around this planet, because on this planet the service will be hell. The hell of unknowing, the hell of paying penalties for all the ignorance that has been progressed here, and getting rid of the form that holds all advanced souls back, the electricity. Electricity is on its way out. Face it. Change is coming about. But not Putin, Obama, or any other kind of change. It's a change that will come with anybody who understands that this planet is tired of the foolishness, with or without you is going forward, and hopefully with you if you are an awakened soul. I know I've said a lot. I know I've hurt some people. I've made others laugh and feel good. Either way, what I'm trying to do is be a good teacher, a good student, and no one masters metaphysics, especially not me. I thank you very much for your attention. Some questions uh, from the audience. Well, let me say this first. After that.